This video will walk you through the process of replacing the drive shaft on the seven Dutton Laneson single speed pulling winch models listed on your screen. If you have one of the smaller winches, DL600 to 1300, first disengage the ratchet pawl from the drive shaft. If you own one of the larger winches, DL1402, 1602, or 1802, take careful note of how the ratchet spring is attached to the ratchet pawl and winch base as it will fall off when you remove the drive shaft and you will soon have to reinstall it exactly how it looks on your winch now. Next, remove both the handle nut and handle from the end of the drive shaft. You'll need a 3 quarter inch wrench to do this on the smaller winches or a 7 eighths on the larger ones. You'll then have to completely remove your winch's reel using two 9 16 inch wrenches. Next, take a flathead screwdriver and carefully pry the E-ring off of the drive shaft. Lined up the ring end of a wrench, half inch on the smaller winches, 5 eighths on the larger ones, with the bearing holding the drive shaft in place. Then hit it with a hammer to loosen the bearing from the winch. Remove the drive shaft from the base, then the bearing from the drive shaft. Put the bearing on your new drive shaft and reinsert it in the winch's base. Next, use the bolt that was holding the reel in place and the drive shaft itself to pound the bearing tightly back into its hole in the base of the winch. If you're working on a larger winch, reinstall the ratchet spring exactly how it was before in the small holes of both the ratchet pawl and winch base. Push the drive shaft all the way against the winch's base so the groove for the E-ring is exposed on the non-gear side of it. Set the E-ring into the groove, then use your flathead screwdriver to push it until it snaps all the way in place. Reinstall the winch's reel so the bolt is snug, but not so tight that the spacer tube is crushed. Slip on the handle and thread the handle nut onto the drive shaft. Last of all, similar to what you see here, Confirm that the ratchet pawl is engaging the gear teeth and working properly. Thanks for watching. We have many other videos like this on our YouTube channel, so check them out and let us know what you'd like to see us cover next.